Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video showing you how to tell if an engine has a points and condenser or the newer electronic ignition, which is called a magnetron on Briggs and Stratton engines. Now your actual points and condenser is up underneath the flywheel. There's a cover over top of it. I'm not going to pull the flywheel in here. I'm going to show you the easy way to tell if an engine has points and condenser or magnetron. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the flywheel cover off, the flywheel shroud. Now this is a push mower engine, but the same thing would apply to a riding mower engine too, as far as that goes. I'm going to take this cover off here, get two, get a bolt here and two bolts in the back. Okay, I got the bolts out. Pull straight off. Now this is your coil or magneto, whatever you want to call it. And you can see the wire runs down to the spark plug. Okay, I'm on the other side of the engine now. You can see the coil, you'll see wires back here. You follow the wires that go underneath the flywheel. And this wire here is the kill wire. You just ground it out to shut it off. Ordinarily, that would go to your throttle control. That way when it comes over here, it shuts it off. But the switch broke, so I just hooked it up like this. But if your wires, if you see about, usually about two wires, if you see them going underneath the flywheel like you do here, that means the engine has points and condenser. Right here is another block identical to this one. This one, uh, I got everything off of it. You can see the, the condenser or capacitor would sit here, and your points are over here. They work off of this. And your coil would bolt onto these here, and your wires would come through here, going underneath here and hooking it up. Later on, we'll do a video on uh, how a point condenser is hooked up and how the uh, how you'd set the gap on it. Now, if the motor has a magnetron or electronic ignition, you're not going to have wires going underneath the flywheel like this. You'll have one wire coming off of here along with the spark plug wire, and that's your kill wire to shut your engine off. And I'll show you an example of that here in a minute. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a ride motor engine with the electronic ignition called a magnetron coil. I'm just going to take the cover off like I did on the little engine. These are different. They get two bolts up here and two bolts down here. I just got one because I'm missing one over here. Get the cover off. Okay, I got the bolts loose. It just slides off the same. Okay, the coil looks basically the same. As you can see, it still has a wire going to the spark plug over here. But there's only one wire coming off. You see right here. It comes through here, and this is the kill wire for one of these. And there's no wires going underneath the flywheel. Now if this engine had points you'd see the wires going underneath here. That's the easiest way to tell if one has points a condenser or the magnetron type of coil. Now another point to bring up if you have an older engine with points and condenser and you keep having problems with the points and maybe the coil is bad on it, you can get one of these newer magnetron coils and it'll bolt right up. You just cut the wires off that go underneath the flywheel and hook up the one that your kill wire normally hooked to coming off the points. Hook it onto here and it's ready to go. Also another point to bring up, these uh, electronic ignition coils, these magnetron, these automatically advance and retard the timing throughout the RPM range. The points and condenser don't do that. They do a little bit, but not quite as much as these. But the main advantage with electronic ignition like this, you don't have to pull the points and condenser all the time. Well guys, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave me a comment or send me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.